What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Jira Wallet. So if we go to JiraWallet.io, we'll be presented with this page and then we can scroll down here. We can see their tokenomic systems, their roadmap, their team, and then you can also send them an email from here. And then if we scroll up, they also have a like paper. But in this video, we're just going to download, install, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So I'm going to press on download. And then if you're using Chrome, Brave or Edge, you'll just have to install or add to your browser. This is just going to be extension. Press on add to Chrome and then add extension. OK, once extension is added, we can close and then we can press on Jira wallet. Then this window is going to appear and this is basically the setup. So we can choose language here. I'm going to leave English but you can choose any language from this list and then press on get started. So there's three options, create Jira wallet, import an account and connect hardware wallet. For this video tutorial, I'm just going to be creating Jira wallet. Now we need to come up with the password and then put a check mark next to term of use and I understand and then press on set up password. Now we need to save secret backup phrase. Always keep in mind, don't ever share with anybody backup phrase. Even for example, if someone's going to be helping you out from Jira help desk, because they have help desk, I'll show you how to get to it. Don't ever share with anybody, because if you will, then they'll have full control of your wallet and they can move your money around. For this video tutorial, I'm going to press on unlock and I'm going to reveal backup phrase because I'm not actually going to be using this specific wallet. So we'll press unlock. And then we can press on copy or we can just download and then press on I understand again and then on continue. Now, right here, we need to confirm this backup phrase. And then press on continue. Now we need to come up with the name. I'm just going to type Jiro and then we can have wallet cover. I'm going to leave default, but they offer a few different ones and then press on continue and then hold on. Now you'll see little icon is going to appear on the top right corner as an extension. And if it's not appearing, what you can do, you can press on this little puzzle and make sure it's pinned. And then if we press on it, this window is going to appear. First thing you'll see your balance and then currency by default, it's USD, but you can change to different currencies. And this is your address. And then if we press on this three little button in the top right corner, we're going to have a few things here my wallet, create new wallet, import wallet and hardware wallet. So we can add many different wallets and use with the same extension. Then in here we can press on buy. If we'll click on buy, then this is going to appear and we can open MoonPay. This is third party application where you can actually purchase your ADA and it's going to be deposited to your wallet. The next thing send, if you press on that, you're going to be able to send ADA to any wallet. And then you can also stake over here. And as you can see right here, minimum for ADA is required to stake. Then assets right here, all the tokens are going to appear. So for example, if you're going to buy Pavia, Cornucopia or any other tokens, they all going to appear over here. Then collectible tab, this is where all NFTs is going to appear. And then history, every single transaction, mint, send, receive is going to appear over here. And this is home page. And then we can go to account page. An account page, we can view wallet detail, same thing, your wallet name and wallet address. You can either copy here or you can scan QR code. Also, you can view your wallet on Cardano skin. If we press on that, this is going to appear. This is basically on Cardano blockchain. Then if we go back here, then there is collateral. So by default, there is no collateral setup. And for example, if you're going to be using some kind of AMM DEXs like Sunday Swap, Min Swap, and for example, if you decide to cancel transaction or change your mind or something to interact with a smart contract, you have to have collateral setup in place and minimum is five Cardano. So if you're planning to either mint something or purchase some kind of tokens, I would recommend set up five ADA as collateral. And you can always remove that once you get done. Then security right here, you can resync the wallet and you can remove your wallet from here. Then Jira wallet support. This is support I was talking about. If you press on it, this window is going to appear and you can submit like a support ticket. 
But like I stated before, don't ever share your seed phrase with anybody, not even Jira Wallet support team. Then if we go back, settings, right here, you can change your language and then currency I was talking about by default, it's USD, but you can change it to Euro and GBP. And then automatic logout time, by default, it's five minutes. You can set to 15 or 30 minutes. And then about, it's just gonna show you Jira Wallet version. And this is pretty much it. This is basic beginner's guide on how to use Jira Wallet. And if this video is helpful to you, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.